back at Souter Speed Shop with Matt. What's going on, brother? Hey, how you doing, Ken? Man, this thing, it looks absolutely freaking stunning. This is our Bagger Racing League tribute bike right here. So uh, Steiger Designs did the graphics kit right here. Jimmy Laurinaitis over here put the Stage 5 uh, tire scorcher kit on it. And we've actually got up here on the screen showing Harley Davidson's uh, um, torque and horsepower here. What, what are we looking at here, man? What, what, is, what is the bottom So they're line? just showing what they've seen out of their kit that they produce, you know? So with the kit components exactly the way they come. Uh, yeah, they're showing the uh, stock those torque. dotted ones or the, the stock, yeah. The stock torque and stock horsepower. Yeah, so like 75 horse, 90 torque, somewhere around there. Yep, that sounds about right for a bagger of, of yep. that era. And with the, the, the tire shredder kit on here, it's putting down a hundred and, what is it, 105 about horse four or five, yeah. and about 110 torque. So this, this tire shredder kit was the hottest thing that, that Harley Davidson had developed after almost 20 years of running the twin cam engine. It was proven commodity, so they're absolutely bulletproof. But um, they, the cam left a little bit to desire, the tuner left a little bit to desire, and of course we went with the Thunder header exhaust on it. So um, Matt ordered the cam, uh, Jimmy installed it, along with the, the, the tire shredder kit, and what, what was the next step to take it? Because you got another like 17 foot pound of torque, and, and uh, I think, uh, how many more horsepower? Like six more horsepower? Yeah, it did really good. Substantially, 20, uh, I'll have to look again, but I think it was like 20 foot pound of torque more. What did you have to do to take it from their, their stage five to this? So all we really changed out, you know, like you said, was the, the camshaft. We changed it out and put the Redshift 576 cams in there. Oh, you, the, we didn't change the tuner either? This one, I was. you already had the Screaming Eagle Super Tuner on this bike. Okay. That the previous owner or whoever set it up. And so I was able to reuse that tuner and and get everything we needed out of that tuner. It did very good. Very cool. Can't wait to ride it. So the, yeah. the stock suspension uh, left a, a lot to be desired on this bike. Um, so we went with the Olin's inserts here in the front. Uh, we're an Olin's dealer, so I ordered this kit. And uh, it was over here. Matt, Matt said he'd, he'd uh, install them for us. So he did the, these here. It has the uh, Screaming Eagle uh, front wheel. And um, it didn't come with the blacked out lowers. A lot of the components on here weren't blacked out from the factory. In fact, Jimmy, what components did we send out to have powder coated on the engine? Because we did quite a bit of this, didn't we? Yeah, we did the rocker boxes. We also did the push rod tube supports, cam cover, transmission cover, outer primary. We changed uh, the transmission cover to the slide box carbon fiber cover. And then we powder coated the uh, shields for the exhaust. Yeah, they look so much better, Jimmy. That was Jimmy's idea. I think it was a really good move because the stock powder coat, uh, stock, I don't know what they put on them from the factory at uh, Thunderheader. But um, coming around this side here, the whole primary was, was originally chrome. It's been blacked out and it, it has a really, really badass look uh, all blacked out. A lot of Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle accessories like the, the heel toe shifter, the shifter um, arm, the, the passenger pegs, uh, has a, a performance machine uh, horn cover there. We sent out, also sent out the, um, the brake caliper covers and had them uh, red in the same color to match the, the, the heads, uh, the rocker box covers there. And Christy did the graphics package. I'd, I'd say actually the paint job on this too, I forgot uh, the paint job on this was done by Nub, N-U-B, mm -hmm. out of New York. No, not sure if you've ever heard of him, but um, he uh, did a lot of Orange County choppers paint work in a lot of the big Harley shops in, in New York use him. So he, he actually, uh, those are hand painted graphics on the tank right there. So came out freaking awesome. Can't wait to ride it and uh, see what she'll do. This Steppenwolf plate was actually a gift from a friend. It's not, I, I run a dealer plate on it when I run it, but the rear fender is also a CVO rear fender. And um, Christy did the drifter cross graphics and this um, Bagger Racing League Stage 5 CVO SE graphics on here. Jimmy, there was some other stuff we powder coated that I think we left out. What else what, what did we powder coat? Yeah, we actually hand painted uh, the uh, top front engine torque stay, the, the cylinder head stay. Yeah, uh, actually Woody did that. He put five coats on there and clear coated it. So it's like, like it, it looks is nicer or better than the powder coating. But yeah, you said you wanted it real durable, so you went the extra mile on it. The uh, black kickstand up here too. Didn't you? That was all chrome too, right? Yeah, we did the top tank cover and also the uh, gas cap cover. Yep, th those bars are out of the Screaming Eagle catalog. I'm pretty sure, as are the clutch lever, the mirrors, everything on there is custom too. So um, definitely a badass twin cam, about as as good as you can 
you can get it for this this uh, this bike and still have it be a daily rider where you could you know use it as transportation. This bike has five thousand miles on it, so it's very low miles. Looks like brand new, and it's ready to go. We also did the. Uh, I think they're, what do they call these, the headlights with the, light, the lights in them? I mean, the turn signals. Is like that the a, halo turn signal? Halo turn yeah. signals. Yeah, those are really nice too. So, is that it, Jimmy? Uh, yeah. Got a battery tender lead on it. Of course, I, I think I mentioned the shocks are off the yeah. Shao 24 CVO yeah. shocks. So, yeah, we're going to take her out for a rip, see how she sounds. Can't wait to ride it. Thanks a lot, Matt, for your hospitality and taking care of the bike. Yes, sir. Thanks as always, Ken. If you want to get a hold of Matt, Matt at Souter Speed Shop on Instagram, or Facebook, or give them a call, hook you up, and build you the bike of your dreams. Thanks for watching, and as always, God bless America.